As of midnight tonight, we will be requiring that masks are worn in indoor settings. Uh, we are encouraging people, particularly over the holiday period, if you can work from home, please work from home. We do want to limit mobility. For hospitality venues, uh, indoors to two square metres from December 27 uh, to, to January 27. And also that indoor face mask requirement will also be in place until January 27 as well. The other aspect arising out of National Cabinet um, yesterday was the national agreement uh, to uh, put in place uh, QR codes. Many of you would be aware we've had those QR uh, codes um, in place for some time. We kept, uh, we kept them in place for high risk settings. Uh, what we will do um, in relation to retail settings um, and lower risk settings is we will bring them back in a limited way. In addition today, uh, we also made an announcement in relation to rapid antigen testing and providing free rapid antigen testing into next year for people right across our state. We see this as crucial as we move through this next part of the pandemic. Uh, we need to move away from PCR testing. We want to make sure that we drive personal responsibility. Uh, that we will play a role here and I've tasked the uh, Investment Minister Stuart Ayres, uh, the Health Minister Brad Hazard and the Finance Minister Damien Tudorhope to work towards providing uh, free rapid antigen testing for people right across our state. New South Wales is currently experiencing both the circulation of Delta and the Omicron variant of COVID. Approximately 80% of our cases are currently Omicron and the increase in Omicron largely explains the steep rise in cases. Pulling together multiple pieces of evidence from overseas countries such as South Africa and the UK and using some of our own emerging data. It indicates that infection with Omicron is likely to be milder than infection with Delta with the risk of hospitalisation being around 60 to 80% less than for Delta. But the issue is the increased transmissibility leading to high case numbers and the impact that this is having on vulnerable settings, vulnerable people and, and critical workforces, such as our health and aged care workforce.